From Los Angeles to a worldwide audience, this is Boaz Power TV, where we take your life to the next level. Now, internationally known speaker and author, here's Boaz. Hello, welcome to The Power Show. You are part of The Power Nation. I'm so glad you joined me. Here we help you to improve your attitude, your relationships, your finances, and your health. And one way we improve your attitude is by getting you to use the word unbelievable when people ask you, how's business, how's life, how's everything? You see the word super fine, great, terrific, one level. Unbelievable is at a whole different level. People won't know what you're up to, but when you do it with enthusiasm, they'll give you the benefit of the doubt and think you're doing great. And don't add extra words. Don't say it's unbelievable, just unbelievable. And they say, now, wait a minute, Boaz, is it really going that good? Here's a follow-up line. All I can say is it's unbelievable. People will love it and you'll get people to shine. Amazing. This is uh, episode number 13 on Boaz Power TV, and it's entitled, It's a Pleasure to Introduce Rose Friedman. I saw a documentary a couple of, uh, a few years ago that was called Three Miracles. It was part of a whole series of documentaries under the general title of The Living Century. And it was about people who had lived during the entire 20th century, between 1900 and the year 2000. And Rose Friedman was one of those amazing people. She passed away in 2001 at the age of 108. She was born in Austria, came to America when she was just a little girl, and went through some great difficulties and lived through three separate miracles in her life. In New York, she worked in a sweatshop and there was a massive fire and everybody perished except her. And then her family went back to Austria and they were almost caught by the Germans and someone saved their life. And another time she was somewhere else in the world and another miracle occurred. But the bottom line in this documentary about Rose Friedman and why she lived to 108 and she was very spry and very active even up to her death was her attitude. Was her attitude. She had a positive, can-do attitude that no matter what, she was going to survive and she was going to find happiness in whatever situation. Isn't that incredible? And she lived to be 108. Another example, I saw a documentary, I saw a portion of a program on television. Uh, Hugh Downs was interviewing people and he did a special on how some people, why some people age better than others. So he was going to interview, scheduled to interview twin sisters and they were like 89 years old, 89 or 90 years old. And the day before the interview, one of the sisters passed away. One of the sisters passed away, so he fully expected that the other sister would cancel the interview the next day. That would be perfectly understandable. But she did not. She shows up at the interview and Hugh Downs is amazed. He's flabbergasted, he said. I would certainly have understood your twin sister passed away yesterday. Why would you come for this interview? And she looked him right in the eye and said, well, sister and I keep our commitments. Hello, hello, what an attitude. What an amazing attitude. So you and I both know people who are much older mentally they are, than they are chronologically because of a rotten attitude. So I'm saying for us to stay youthful, we can certainly hedge our bets by having a positive, outgoing attitude toward finding things that are good as opposed to looking at things that are bad. Just the fact that we woke up this morning, we ought to be pleased about that. Hey, the alternative is we could have died. Come on. And so these people, Rose Friedman and the twin whose sister had died the day before, what great examples that a part of longevity can certainly be a very positive, uplifting, forward-looking attitude. So the affirmation for this message on Boaz Power TV is, I have a great positive attitude. I have a great positive attitude. I look for the good in everything. I have a great positive attitude. I look for the good in everything. If you like these messages, and many people around the world do, Please forward this to five people you know. Ask them to go to my website, boazpower.com, and get them to sign up for these free weekly broadcasts on Boaz Power TV. Thank you for joining me. You are special. You are unique. You are destined for greatness, and you have a wonderful, positive attitude. Above all, I see you as a champion. Have a powerful day. 
This has been Boaz Power TV. To comment, see other episodes, or to subscribe to this free broadcast, go to our blog at boazpower.com. That's boazpower.com. We're here to take your life to the next level.